here with my man, Maurice Jones-Drew, to go into the film room to look at some of these NFC Championship game matchups. How are you feeling about it? It's a little sketchy, you know, like we talked about it off air, but you have strengths and you have weaknesses, and, and you know what the championship game is all about. It is all about that offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators, about accentuating your strengths and exploiting the other team's weakness. With the Carolina Panthers, the strength is obviously the running game. MJD, break down the tape and tell me what you see when the Panthers run. Well, this is a simple counterplay. And what you see is you're going to get a double team at the point. You're going to have Greg Olson bluff the defensive end to slow him down a little bit. He pinches. The guard comes around. Tover does a great job of just actually getting on his guy, creating a seam. Earl Thomas misses a play. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get downhill football from the Carolina Panthers. If it's not this type of run, it's runs with the read option with – Cam Newton, also other type of power, quarterback powers as well. You know, when I looked at the stats, you talk about 64 runs of 10-plus yards this season, also 28 straight games with 100-plus rushing yards. If you're the Arizona Cardinals, you got to stop the run. But when I look at the Cardinals, they struggle giving up the big run. Let's take a look at what the Panthers may exploit. Well, this here, you're, you're just going to see a lot of missed tackles. I, I think guys are trying to go for the stripper instead of just securing the ball. The ball carrier here, obviously you see Eddie Lacy running, and he's going to be running for a long time because he looks like he's running in slow motion. <laughs> but the key with Eddie Lacy is he's a, t- he's a tackle breaker. That's what he does. So you have Jonathan Stewart, a similar size guy, around 240-ish, a bigger back that can break those type of tackles. Look at Eddie Lacy here, a great zone play. Lyman are downfield blocking, makes a couple people miss. You have to tackle. That's their issue. They're not tackling in the box right now. If you don't tackle in the box, you're going to get these big runs on you. Yeah, if I'm an Arizona Cardinals fan, I'm concerned. The last two games have given up runs of 45 and 61 yards. Knowing the Carolina Panthers want to pound it between the tackles, you have to take care of that. But if I am the Arizona Cardinals, I'm excited this week because I feel like they have a favorable matchup. The Arizona Cardinals are one of the best deep ball teams in the league. Tell me what you see when you look at them. Well, you have big receivers. You have speedy receivers. You have big receivers. Throw the jump ball to your big guys. Let your, your fast guys run past them. I think that's what you see. And, and to be honest, that's where Carson Palmer feels comfortable. Letting the ball go down the field. He's not a short passer. You saw he was a little shaky. But with the deep passes, he was magnificent, in the, obviously, in the divisional round. Going against Carolina, though, when you look at Carolina's DBs, if his name ain't Josh Norman, it's a little sketchy out there. Yeah, Bruce Aarons, the guy, is a fearless play caller. We saw that in the divisional round. They want to push the ball down the field. But you're right. The Carolina Panthers are vulnerable and susceptible to the deep ball. Gave up four completions of over 20-plus yards against the Seattle Seahawks. Well, I think I think a lot of it is in the second half they were playing soft covers. They weren't coming after the quarterback. They were just kind of playing cover two, cover three, sitting back, letting Russell pick them apart. I get it. Uh, you can't do that this week, though. This week, you have to get in the receivers' faces. You have to mug them all down the field. You have to do that. As long as you have holes in your zone, which every zone has, Carson Palmer and Bruce Aarons are going to find those. And most of them are going to be on post and go routes one on one with your with the, the other corner not named Josh Norman. You know, it's funny because this is a game we have contrasting styles. Physical running game from the Carolina Panthers, a vertical pass attack with the Arizona Cardinals. We've talked about the weaknesses. Should be a really good matchup to watch. It's going to be a really good one. I think. I think because the offenses are such, that's why it makes it such a good game. So you don't really practice against the run that much in Arizona because they throw the ball so much. And then vice versa, obviously, in, in Carolina. So it's going to be a great, chess, a great chess match to see which is best. You know, for more information and more film study, make sure you go to NFL.com. Check out the Game Pass. Get all of that video, that insight. It's going to be compelling. Me and MJD, we'll be back on NFL now to give you some more tidbits.